Hey guys, it's Jason McKayla here from Chasing Thrills. We have brought back the Coaster Debate series because of the request that we got from the YouTube poll that I had sent out requesting that we bring back the long form style video. And so this is what we are doing. This is episode three of the series and it is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind versus Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. So why do you like Guardians of the Galaxy better? It okay. is less intense, and a lot of people say it's like more, like it's more boring than Copperhead Strike. But to me, I kind I like it better. It's smoother, and it has kind of has better launches. I could agree with that. Better launches. I like uh, Copperhead Strike better because obviously it's more intense. Guardians is more of a family coaster, while Copperhead Strike is more of a thrill intense coaster. So I, I like that better. I like them both, but I do like Guardians better. I do. I I, like I think Copper Copperhead Strike's a really good ride. But Guardians of the Galaxy is also really good. I just think Copper Strike is just more my style, being more intense, stronger airtime. Guardians has a little bit of floater airtime, but Copper Strike has a lot of ejector airtime, and it's just really good. So, we have uh, how many categories? Nine, nine, nine categories. Nine or ten. There are airtime, launches, theming, duration, pacing, intensity, enjoyability, smoothness, and operation. So, it's nine. That's nine categories, yeah. yeah. So, well, I guess we can go ahead and start off with our first category, which will be airtime. Which one has better airtime? Probably Copperhead Strike. I'm giving Copperhead Strike the airtime point too, okay, so because again, it has a little more airtime, I think, and it is ejector compared to Guardian, lighter floater, and it's a little less. So. So Copperhead Strike has two. So Eight. now, since they are both launch coasters, of course, let's compare the launches of both rides. Which one do you think Guardians. is better? That's really close because when you think at Copperhead Strike, it has two, it has two both, both of them have two launches, but Copperhead Strike's first launch is more intense than any of them, but then Copperhead Strike's second launch is less intense, is the least intense of them all. So well, Guardians has it in the middle, but then they're also, one of them is a backwards launch, plus when you add all the theming around it and the music, I would give Guardians the point for that. Now, theming. So Guardians has two and Copper Strike has two. Theming. Guardians, by far. Easily Guardians. Is it Disney Copper ride? Copperhead Strike is like no theming. I mean, it's like Cedar Fair. Like snakes, but like... It's, it's, it's Cedar Fair. What do you expect? It's not like a Disney. All they have is like, I don't know, like hissy music. I don't know. It's music, and then there's a little bit of theming in the queue. We didn't yeah, see that. And then Guardians the station... Guardians is like a thousand times yeah. better. Oh yeah, Guardians definitely gets the theming point. So what about four. duration? I'd say they're both pretty long rides, but... What does duration mean? How long the ride is. Oh. <laughs> Guardians. Guardians, yeah, it's longer. 5,000 feet of track compared to like 3,500, I want to say, for Copper Strike. I'm not positive on that. It's around the 3,000s. Guardians is around 5,000. It's the longest indoor coaster in the world. It's also not nearly as fast, so it really maintains its speed that it has, and overall, it's just, I think it has better duration. It's a lot longer of a ride, and it feels like it never ends. So next, we have pacing. That's actually really close, because Guardians, it's not super fast. It reaches like 60 miles per hour, which I think I actually is faster than Copperhead Strike. I'm not positive about that. I think Copperhead Strike goes about 55, but Guardians doesn't really feel like it keeps 60, maybe around the 40s. Copperhead Strike, when it's fast, it gets fast. I give it to Guardians because Copperhead Strike has like pacing, it like keeps its pace. Like Guardians keeps its pace, so it has really good pacing, but then like some of it. But Copperhead Strike, like when you go into the loops or some of the inversions, like it, like it, it has hang, a lot of hang time, which doesn't keep its pace. No. Copperhead Strike, when it's fast, it's fast. But Guardians, I feel like, Guardians keeps its pace a little pace. better. So I'm gonna give that point to Guardians because it just it keeps its pace. Copper Strike will, yeah, as you said in the inversions, it slows down. So next up is intensity. Probably Copper Strike. Copper Strike easily. It's not the most intense ride out there. If Guardians spun more, then I feel like it would be Guardians, but it kind of spins. Because it, it, slow. it's very controlled. Like, you don't even notice the spinning that much. Like, I'm sure if you told somebody the ride didn't spin, they wouldn't notice. Yeah. It would take them a while, and then they'd realize... You'd, you'd have to probably say, oh yeah, that spun. Or you'll have to think about, 
like you don't feel the spinning at all. You can see the spinning sort of. more, but you don't really feel it. You kind of feel it, but it's it's not, very it's, not that bad. it's very smooth. So I will give the intensity to Copper and Strike because there are several moments on it, including I'd say the first launch, the vertical loop, the you know the overbank turn right after that big drop from the um, cutback. Oh, oh, Copperhead Strike has a lot of intense moments, and so I definitely give Copperhead Strike that point. So next we have enjoyability. Um, it's really, for me, it's really close because Guardians has, like, music, and it spins, and it has a bunch of launches, and it has backwards, it, like, it goes backwards, and it's really fun. Or, at least, I loved it. But Copperhead Strike has the inversions, and, like, it's really, it's also really fun. So, I don't know. You gotta give a point to somebody. Yeah, i probably give it to Guardians. Guardians? Yeah. You give Guardians just barely? Yeah. Barely. I'd say Copper Strike's fun, but Guardians, with the small pops of airtime, which I wasn't really expecting, and the airtime, well, I already said the airtime, but the length and the music and all the theming, and I think just, I mean, Copper Strike's really fun, but I think Guardians, it just takes the cake when it comes to all of the intense, not intense, but like long and just enjoyability. I was leaning forward the entire time I rode Guardians, if you saw my POV, that was the only ride I had. So I was filming that, leaning forward, and I still really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. And you get you get wind in your face a lot. But like, it's just, they, it's so much fun. They also like put some effort into like the music, like it's not all just like one song, it's multiple, like different songs. Well it's not one, it's, it's, you, well yeah, there's multiple like, songs you can choose from. For each ride, there's a different song. Not like every single ride, but like, there won't be like the same song for every single ride. Yeah, they, like, there's, there's like six different like, soundtracks. Other than some rides, there's like... A single soundtrack if you look yeah, at like one, one song or something. Hagrid's which has one soundtrack or yeah. Hulk which has one soundtrack. So put some effort into the music. Guardians it has the soundtrack but it rotates but it still has the audio that you hear when everybody's like yelling when you're trying. It's really immersive and so all that audio that you hear is just the background music more which I did Everybody Wants to Rule the Ro World. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. It's yeah, a really I long don't name. remember that sank, like synced up perfectly to the ride. I don't know what it was, but it sank perfectly to the ride. And I was really impressed because I was actually hoping maybe we get Conga or something. A little bit of a faster paced song. But I actually think that song is the best one. I don't remember what song I got. I went with my mom. Me and him, he went with my grandpa on one chain and then I went with my mom on another chain. Yeah, we didn't ride I together. Forgot. We didn't get the same experience. Yeah. I and you rode in the back. I rode in the front. I don't. Really, I forgot what song I had. I liked it though. It was some like, like I don't know. It was fun. So in the end, now that we've been talking about this category for about a minute and a half, smoothness. Oh no, not for the category of smoothness. That's next. For this category of enjoyability, goes to Guardians. Guardians for both of us. Smoothness. So Guardians has ten, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, don't know. Ten, I lost track. Like nine or ten. I don't know. Which one would you say is smoother? Guardians? Just because it's indoor, also it's newer. But, like, it's indoor, so it has, like, less chances of getting, like, rusty and old quicker. Rusty? Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I don't rough? Know. Like a rattle? Get, getting a rattle to it because it's not supposed yeah. to the elements? Yeah. 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 But Copperhead Strike is, like, outside and, like, it's metal, and so, like, when it rains it can get rusty and, like, but that's in the future right now. We're not talking about that. How but smooth yeah, is it now? But I'd still give it to Guardians. Is it smoother? Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Guardians, Copper and Strike, I call it like the rich rattle, or I call it the rich rattle because it feels like the really expensive coasters have a little bit of a rattle. Like Orion, I thought I felt had a little bit of a rattle. Velocicoaster, I felt had a little bit of a rattle. It's barely noticeable, and you really only notice if you really think about it. You can totally forget about it. But I call it the rich rattle because all the expensive coasters, it seems like, have it. Guardians is also really expensive, but it does not have it. It's like glass smooth. One of the smoothest coasters I've ridden. I didn't notice. Oh, it probably is the smoothest coaster I've ridden. Yeah, it's I. Like I it's like brand new when they wrote well, it. Yeah, it was like April. six months old. But it's also six months. It was six months old when we wrote it. Yeah, it opened in May. We wrote it in November. I just thought um, Guardians was a little smoother, 
I mean, I, it might have had a rattle. I just didn't notice it because how how much fun I was having with the, all the um, distractions with all the theming and the screens and the sound. So it might have had a rattle, but I didn't feel it. Copyright Strike, I was able to notice a little bit of a rattle, but it was barely noticeable. Copyright Strike like rattle like back and forth. So once again, it's really close, but Guardians does get the edge. So it has Guardians has like twelve or thirteen. I don't know. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> they're not. They're not winning. So. Copper Next is operations, and I would definitely give this to Guardians. I don't know. I it's don't Disney. really remember their operations that much, but I remember Copperhead Strike being pretty bad. They stack three trains every time. Guardians of the Galaxy flew, and there were yeah. double double loading station too. Like there were, it's stacked on the really nice pre though. pre show. Like that's how great it's stacked for us on the pre-show. That means they were sending trains so quickly that they didn't actually even have enough room in between trains, which I think is amazing. Yeah. That they were and actually going too fast. The operations. The, like the queue line, it was like it again. It had a lot of theming, but it also moved pretty fast. It was very. So like fast. you weren't stuck seeing one thing for like ten minutes. I was getting footage of the queue line. I had to keep. I kept yeah, getting behind, and I accidentally made the gap, uh, the line get like, a little bit of a gap a few said, times because like, yeah, it was moving very fast. I didn't even have the time to The line is not that long at all. I mean, it's like it's a long queue line, but like when you get in the line, it moves fast. Like, we also had virtual fast. queue, so it was like twenty minutes for us. I don't know the difference. All the pain of the virtual queue, McKeeley. Okay, so operations also goes to guardians. So. Guardians won by a landslide. But yeah, that is I have a question for you. Yeah. Now that Guardians won, have a you lot. changed your mind? No. Because Copyright Strike, it still wins intensity. And See, but I don't like intensity. So you don't like Iron Wazzy? Because it's so intense? I do. I mean, like, it's a fun ride, but, like, fun wins, like, non intense. If that makes sense. Wins over intense for me. That makes if you have fun on the ride, yeah. You could have a ride that's not if, intense. If it's, it's an in, if it's intense and like it's really fun, then yeah, I love it. But like if it's not intense and it's really fun, then I'll also love it. But if it's just intense and really boring, I won't like it. This has made me realize how much more categories like Guardians than Copyright how much Strikes? more of Guardians is actually better when you break it down. It actually it makes you realize how much more of Guardians that is actually really, really good yeah. when you break it down compared to just thinking of it as a ride and hole. And, but I'd still think Copyright Strikes better just because it is more intense and it has the airtime and all that. So I still would give it, but yeah, Guardians won by a landslide, which is actually crazy. No, it's not surprising. Kind of. Well, I was I mean, typing these categories down and I was like, yeah. Did you Guardians. type down these categories just for Guardians to win? No, it's what you said. That's yeah, true. But I said, I, I told him, I was like, Guardians is definitely going to win, like, operations and smoothness and stuff like that and pacing. There were a few that I knew Guardians was going to win, but... Guardians... Like, airtime and win. pacing, not in pacing, like, intensity. That means I've lost two I'm, of these now. <laughs> out of the three. But I lost two. So we're two, one. Wait, I thought we made four. No, we've, well, yeah, but we've only posted, this is the third one. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I lost the first one, and the last two, this one and the last one, I won. So I'm pretty happy about that. So yes, in the end, Guardians of the Galaxy comes out On as top. the winner, sadly. Like me. That means you lose again. I mean, I meant I, I lose, lose again. again. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, sad. So... I think we are ready to end off the I video. I haven't changed my mind. Still anything like else better. you'd like to say? That I don't remember what song I got? You could ask mom. She probably remembers. Mom! Nope. Okay. So with that said, please make sure to have a thrilling rest of your day. And we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time. Okay. So by the way, I asked my mom what song we got. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, stop! Shut up! <laughs> Mom, what song we got? And she doesn't remember, so you'll never know. So yeah. Never ever. Never ever. For the second time now, have a thrilling rest of your day, and we'll <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>